Hi guys, it's Rune, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 103 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, assuming you're attempted, let's just dive right in. So let they're saying calculate the probability that maximum storm, fire, and theft is loss exceeds three. So what is this probability? Well, we know that this is also equal to the probability 1 minus the probability that max of um, storm, fire, and theft is less than 3. And then because we know that this is independent, we can actually split this up. 1 minus the probability that max of S is less than or equal to 3. Max of F is less than or equal to 3. And, then, and finally, the probability that max of theft is less than or equal to 3 by independency. So what we do know about order statistics is the probability of max of x1 to xn is less than some little x is equal to the exactly just the probability that big x is a little equal to little x less than or equal to little x and that's because we, we know this but and like there is a proof of it but like how do I remember it so I like think of it like this like if this is little x and this let's say this is like x1 x2 x3 if you want to find the max of these numbers that then we all we know that all of these numbers have to be oh and this is to the nth power we know that all these numbers have to be less than the little x right does that make sense and that's how I think of it and it's that's basically how the proof goes and likewise we also know it's this is irrelevant to this question, but x1 dash xn is less than x. The CDF of minimum is the same idea, right? But we have to think of it like 1 minus the probability that um, minimum x1 dash xn is greater than x. So we can think of it going this way. We want to make sure is the minimum of these numbers. Then So that's going to be like 1 minus the CDF. So that's 1 minus probability that x is less than x. And this whole thing to the nth power. I know that part's kind of confusing. Again, on the exam, I would just recommend just memorizing this and just saying the max is the same, minimum is the complement. <laughs> Again, max is the same, minimum is the complement. So then using that, we can just say one, this is equal to 1 minus the probability that s is less than 3, um, probability that f is less than 3, and finally the probability that t is less than 3. We know that this is exactly just an exponential CDF. So we know for CDF, exponential functions, it is equal to 1 minus e to the negative t over lambda, where t is the value we're looking for. So for s, it's going to be 1 minus e to the negative 3 over lambda, where lambda is equal to 1. And for f, this is the same thing, 1 minus e to the negative 3 over f, which is 1.5. And finally, this is 1 minus e to negative two, 3 over 2.4, which is equal to 0.414, our answer e. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!